The LMX2820 from Texas Instruments is considered an evolution of the LMX2594, a 10 MHz to 15 GHz synthesizer. The internal voltage controlled oscillators of the LMX2820, uh, 7 in total, can go from 5.65 to 11.3 GHz and the full range up to 22.6 GHz is reached using an internal doubler. I found this chip more temperamental than the LMX2594 and after some time trying to tame this beast I decided to buy this board from AliExpress to accelerate my learning curve and in this video I described part of my experience with this board by the way I bought also the programmer board also included in the review the first thing I noticed is that there is a problem with the reference frequency input in the board release I bought and here is the schematic of the original circuit as we can see there is an onboard 10 MHz internal reference the problem is that that pin 8 of the LMX2820 OS in P and the 10 MHz oscillator they see two 50 ohm resistors in parallel or 25 ohms the border will work but this is not good another problem of this implementation is that we just can't use an external high quality reference it would interfere with the onboard oscillator a better solution would be to introduce a double jumper in the circuit when the jumper is connected the reference for the PLL is the onboard oscillator and the connector can be used to connect the frequency counter for instance to adjust its frequency when the jumper is off we can connect a better quality external reference of any desired frequency in my case I just removed two components from the board uh, as we can see in this uh, schematic the this capacitor and the oscillator using always an external reference for the PLL the board is in fact very well made uh, high frequency substrate 3.5 millimeters connectors for the outputs and very good price by the way be careful to connect SMA connectors to the output or you will destroy the original 3.5 millimeters connectors I measured the maximum output power all the way up to 22.6 gigahertz and here is the result depending on the range even better than the original specifications published by the board seller as I said before I bought also the LMX2820 controller from AliExpress and as far as I could see it works quite well having also the possibility of emulating a sweeper the main problem with this programmer is that it works only with a reference of 10 megahertz and that's a shame it should include for instance a jumper to work with 100 megahertz a way better reference for this kind of synthesizer due to this problem I designed and built a new programmer for the original board we can see here a uh, jumper 
so we can use 10 megahertz or 100 megahertz or any other frequency considering it's my own design This is the setup to measure the maximum frequency, 22.6 gigahertz. I also designed and built these other units here, programmer and PLL, but its performance hopefully will be the subject of a new video in the future. That's all I had. Thanks for watching.